Jojo, wearing the white trunk, she weighed in at 169 pounds. From Houston, Texas, welcome please, Todd Moore. Here you see Todd the Maniac Moore. He's from Houston, Texas, and he is damn proud of it. Let's hear more from the Maniac. It was me out there, you know, he, you can... Anybody can look fantastic against a low-quality opponent, but, you know, you're going in there against Todd Moore. You're not going in against uh, Joe Blow over there that you can just run through in, you know, three minutes. And introducing from the red corner, out of team, Henjo Gracie, wearing the red trunks with the black trim. He weighed in at 170 pounds from New York City, New York. Welcome, please, Colin O'Reilly. So listening to that interview, Todd Moore not impressed with the fact that he defeated uh, Charles Wilson in the first round. Let's hear from Colin O'Rourke. Why not? What else is there to do right now? I'm in top physical shape is what I love to do. It gets me out of bed in the morning. You know, I'm right there. Couture is 43. He's got four years on me. O'Rourke, a battle-tested veteran. Both these guys really good on the ground. Let's take a look at the bracket. O'Rourke going to take on Todd the Maniac Moore. Now to get here, O'Rourke defeated Jan Guanachia by strikes. He tapped out to strikes in the first round. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Wow. No, you're not reading that wrong. 16 years age difference between these two fighters. Okay, here we go. An undefeated young man and a, a, a grizzled old 39 year old. I like that. I'll tell you what, O'Rourke is all business and interviewing him. He's a pretty salty cat. He didn't want to sit and make small chat. He said he would do his talking inside the ring. And that's how a lot of them are. You know, they don't want to uh, sit there and say fancy words, uh, show you that how spectacular their vernacular is. That's up to me. Now, O'Rourke, much like uh, Binky Jones, under the tutelage of Henzo Gracie. So we'll see if uh, another Gracie student can find his way in the tournament finals, this time in the welterweight division. Let's go, guys. Here we go. He's, he's working shoulder strikes and he's trying to do a little bit ground pound up in there, trying to put him away quick. And there again, you see the elbows that are now legal in the semifinals. That really adds a whole new dimension to these semifinal fights. And O'Rourke, or uh, Moore rather, made no bones about it that he was going to look to elbow his opponent. I'm trying to cut you. I'm trying to put you out. You ain't going to the after party. You ain't bothering in the magazine. Hey, active guys. Trying to put him in the blender with those elbows. And now, Moore, the wrestler, looked like he was going to stand up for a second, but now right back with the half guard. Yeah, you got the wrestler first. Did you, just, you ain't going to get these guys too much on your feet. You know, you're going to try to work. These boys got to be trying to work for a, a, the wrestler trying to cut him. The, 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 the jiu-jitsu man going to try to submit him. So again, O'Rourke made his way to the semis by beating Guanachia by strikes. Todd the Maniac Moore won by decision over Jamie Tony in the quarterfinals. And now their shot to make it on to the finals of the welterweight division. Certainly an age and strength, you gotta think, and youth on the side of the Maniac. Well, I tell you, that's one thing about it. You can be full of piss and vinegar, but treachery and experience. Come on, way to work, guys. Let's go. I, I believe in it. You get more treacherous, you know. That's how you gotta be. Because so these new young generation of uh, up and coming demons, they trying to cut you and put you out. Sure, you gotta think O'Rourke knows every trick in the book. He's a cagey yeah, veteran. No more, no more. Same position. But then again, he's 16 years go, older. He's go. gonna have to pull out every uh, every trick out of that bag. Exactly. And one of the biggest things that the older fighter has to realize is that cardio has to be one of the, the mainstays throughout your career as a fighter. Because these young guys. You know, they don't get tired. You know, they stay up all night, if you know what I mean. You know, the wind blows on their shorts a little bit too much, and they have, and they have full attention. Yeah, younger fighters can certainly bounce back a little bit quicker. Yeah. You got to be able to diffuse the impact of the bruises and the punches. You can't sit there and let them take the full brunt of them trying to punch off. The Maniac again aggressive with the elbows. Look out here. A succession of elbows. Rourke might be in trouble. Now right hands. Okay. And that is 
is going to be it. An absolute barrage and onslaught, an onslaught of Elks by the Maniac. Living up to his name in that fight. Well, I tell you, he was an aggressive young man. And that's one thing about his older fight. You got to get your hands on him and you got to shut him down because you do not want them young boys controlling the pace. You as the daddy of the ring, you got to control the pace. The time, three minutes, six seconds. And the roles were reversed because O'Rourke took out his opponent some tapping to strikes in the quarterfinals and now he finds himself on the opposite position of that. He, pay, he has to tap out to these elbows and overhand rights. There you see that sense of urgency. He could smell blood in the water. Yeah, that's a shark in the water. That's a young demon. Let's take it up to Peter Naglia. Ladies and gentlemen, at three minutes and six seconds of round one, by verbal submission, the winner is Ty Moore! Wow, I'm glad I'm gambling. I'm the, the, the maniac makes his way to the finals, and he is going to be a force to be reckoned with. There you see it, Todd Moore. Two wins under his belt. He is in the finals. But who's he going to face? Will it be Philippe Nover or Jay Coleman? That should be a hell of a fight. We see that later tonight. Standing by is Dave Ginsburg with our winner. Todd, that was unbelievable. I think your new nickname should be The Elbow. Todd, who do you want to thank? What do you want to say? Texas, baby. I'm here to represent Texas. I'm here to show that Texas has the best athletes in the nation, baby. How's it for you, Texas? Woo! Now, you're undefeated still at 8-0. Do you feel the pressure, and how do you feel going into the finals? Now I don't feel the pressure. What you see right here is a supremely confident athlete right now. Well, awesome job. We're looking forward to seeing you back at the finals. Good you're work. You're see a lot more of me in the future. Look out for me. Woo! Todd the Maniac Moore. Thanks. All right, so there you go. The Maniac, they say everything's bigger in Texas, and he got a big win here tonight in the semifinals. Yes, he did. Yes, he did.